Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Dustin. I am a subject matter expert in the systems management space. Today, I will be going over the Open Manage Server Administrator Services, commonly known as OMSA. Uh, OMSA installs four services, which can be identified by a DSM prefix in the display name. So I'll go ahead and pull that up right now. Um, the way I'm managing it is the services.msc. I can just bring that back up so everybody can see. You can also just type services in the start menu and find it. And you can also find a control panel. I then go down to the Ds and I find DSM. So these are our four services. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through each one, one at a time. Let's start with the DSM SA connection service. So this service is responsible for running the web server. Um, by default, the web server will listen on port 1311. As we can see from our web server here, port 1311. So next we actually have the, uh, the data manager, the DSM SA data manager. So the data engine is responsible for collecting all of the hardware data through the baseboard management controller or the iDrive. And this process uses the HAPI driver, the HAPI driver. That's a DCDBAS uh, for short, which is located in C program files, Dell systems management, OMSA HAPI location. We also have the DSM event manager service. So this service is responsible for writing to the Windows system event log using the server administrator provider. So what that means is if there's something that happens on the server, it will be lit, written directly to this event log here. And as you can see, the source is server administrator. In this case, um, I purposely made the temperature sensor detect a warning value so I could show how this gets written to the event log. And lastly, DSM shared services. So uh, this one is a default disabled and not started. And really uh, the, the service is just responsible for the inventory and really only when used with Open Manage Essentials and System Center Configuration Manager using in-band updates. So that, that's, that's something that you'll need to know if you are running into those two applications and you're having an issue collecting inventory, you'll want to go on the target system, check this service, and you'll have to set it to automatic and then start it. Otherwise, you really aren't going to need it at all. So that's it. Um, not too much going on with the OMSA services, but that is a, a little bit of information to know. I hope you enjoyed my video and have a great day. Thank you.